to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9 and board a high security train. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. Have a friend. 
friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team, immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruiting team. The Black Mesa facility is an equal opportunity employer. and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. We can talk Dr. at lunch, Ryan Gordon. And Dr. Brickman, please report to Materials Complex for Audit Review. Get Special away from there, Freeman. I'm expecting minutes. an important message. Freeman? I can't be bothered right now. Good morning, Dr. Freeman. But the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come. Ah, nothing like the morning of a big test. I can't remember the last time I've seen the lab abuzz with such excitement. Indeed, quite invigorating. Ta ta! down at once.
Gordon, I'm busy. Oh, would you look at that. Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Good morning, Freeman. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> the sample was just sent down to the test chamber. Good morning, Gordon. living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction? Morning, champ. Hello. Hope you're in top form this morning, Gordon. Another day, another dollar. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Triple pleated khakis? Preposterous. Ugh, drat. No toilet paper. Be a dear and fetch me a roll of toilet paper. Uh, hello? Hello? Could somebody get me some toilet paper? Excuse me, minor emergency. Uh, don't panic, Harold. Don't panic. Hello? Hello? Could somebody get me some toilet paper? Oh, thank heavens! I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. And these ludicrous penny loafers! Freeman?
Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. Hmm. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure the superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. How curious. The acousto-optic modulators are on the fritz again. Pfft. I assure you, we've compensated for any contingency. What's up, Doc? Whew. I'm bushed. Standing around can take a lot out of you. I'm not one for idle chatter, Gordon. Greetings and salutations, Dr. Freeman. I can't be bothered right now. If another instrument malfunctions today, I'm going to explode. Please relax. Things could be much, much worse. Give me some space, Freeman. Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Gordon, it's high time to start the experiment. Get to the test chamber at once. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last minute changes, they're a bit strange to just... Oh, it's about to go critical. What in the blazes is going on <sighs> with our equipment? <sighs> it was never meant to do this in the first place. <sighs> it's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. Hmm. This could take a bit longer than I anticipated. I don't 
know about this, is he? By Becquerel's ghost! The radiation level is off the charts. You know, this is far from the Make haste, man. They're waiting for you down in the test chamber. I've got two PhDs and the first dead metal. Gordon, you know we both have more important things to be doing. Very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now, you're overreacting. <sighs> I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha! Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it! I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. It's high time I took a break from all this. Certainly. But before you do, activate the electric multiplier. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Ah, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel- Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. You're just postponing the inevitable. Just go on and get it over with. The higher-ups will have our heads if we delay this experiment any longer. Catching the opening night jitters, Gordon? Can't say I blame you. Don't worry, Dr. Freeman. You'll do just fine. Once this is all over, you can slip out of that HEV and get back to the real work. Paperwork. Lots and lots of paperwork. Are you waiting for something, Gordon? He's just savoring the moment. One day, he'll look back to this as the beginning of his illustrious career. There's no need for performance anxiety, Dr. Freeman. Of course not. You're a seasoned pro by now. Testing. Testing. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti vax spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. me? Climb up and start the rotors, please. Dr. Freeman, please. Stage one emitters in three, two.
two, one. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. Uh, please, work as quickly as you can. Overhead capacitors to 105%. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well within acceptable bounds again. Sustaining sequence. We've just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Standard insertion of non-standard specimen. Go ahead, Gordon. Slot the carrier into the analysis port. What is he doing in there? It's nothing you need to worry about.
listen. I, I tried the one. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. Goodbye, Schrodinger's cat. He's alive. Gordon! Thank God for that hazard suit. All the phones are out. I can't reach anyone in the facility. We need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. There's no telling what kind of danger can be. <laughs> Science team will help you along the way. God's sake, keep that suit on until you feel the clear. You hear me? Am I glad to see you? What the hell are these things, man? And why are they wearing science team uniforms? I think we have guests. One down and hell if I know how. is 
this. Minor lacerations detected. Seek medical attention. Warning. Vital signs critical. Now you get points for trying. Ha! 
Oh, thank God. Listen, I know where you can find more weaponry. There's a security office not far from here. Take me with you. Godspeed, Doctor. Let's go. Sorry, Gordon. suspect some alien subterfuge behind this failure. Oh, safe haven. No. Oh. Well, at any rate, over there's the weapons I spoke of. I've had my fill. 